I, I, yeah, I'm in Michigan. I'm on my mom's couch. And it's good to be here. It's good to be here with y'all. We had an ice storm that knocked out all the power, which is like no big deal because, you know, I could just go to someone else's crib and do the damn thing. But the ice storm made that basement flood. So I was down there dealing with that shit all day. That's that shit you don't think about when you I thought like you just buy a fucking house and then you got a house. You know what I mean? Like you just buy a house and then you got a house and you're a homeowner. But like there's all this shit you got to think about, like lawnmowers and fucking power generators and fucking water pumps and shit fucking nuts dude being a grown-up fucking bananas but we handled it nothing got ruined power's back on and now i'm on the couch chilling with you in michigan and let me tell you it feels good it feels good a lot of stuff has happened since i've been gone now if you was listening on friday john's freaking out already duck duck that music a little bit if you was listening on friday um we had the galactic the gcap people come in they got the they got like the band-aid it's basically like you put a band-aid on the end of your penis and it stops the nut from coming out or something that makes it so you can feel everything real good and john was like i'll try it if you can find me a girl to sleep with me i I did not say that did i say that you did say that john i don't think i said something that extreme how were you gonna try it you didn't have a girl right no so it was implied that he was gonna have to find a girl correct right that he knows some lady who would probably want to do something like that she'd be into it right Certainly to apply the... Um, For science. The well, you got to try it out, too. I don't know. We'll see. I, I don't know. She, I'm sure she's a very friendly woman. D- did he show you a picture of her? Or? No. So you don't even know if you'll be able to get your shit hurt. <laughs> That's a major, major concern. I'll have to really not uh, masturbate for a couple days or something like that, too. <laughs> what if I just leave a dick pill around? You hey, just... you know, I hadn't thought of that. I had I literally not thought about that. Interesting. I'm not going to give it to you. I'll just <laughs> leave it on the floor. It might fall out of my pocket <laughs> somewhere. Leave it on the floor. Keep it at least on the desk. I don't understand why you... John, you've done why that you before. act like you're too good to eat off the floor, man? You've done that before where you just chuck it on the floor and then Because you... I got nothing to do. I never chuck nothing on the floor. Something must have fallen out of my pocket. I don't know what you're talking about. And I go in there and it's already crushed because one of the wheels ran over it? This... I need plausible deniability, <laughs> John. <laughs> and can't have you at HR talking like, oh, he gave me Indian dick pills. Like, nah, bro. That's a bad look for me. My heart something racing. falls out of my pocket. And you're going to tape this shit, too. Of, I think really if sex with you couldn't be more awkward, you're going to have to, like, tape. You're going to you're gonna tape her fucking walk through her putting it on you. Okay, that's the part that we're talking about. I'm in no way saying, okay, intercourse is in the... You don't got to tape right. it. Just, I, just, <laughs> why, well, like, this is, this, now we negotiate. Now we're in the negotiation terms. I right, just tape her putting it on. Right. And how it feels. And then... Just the one dip in, and you can turn no, it off. No, no, just, no, just, no, no. Just one dip in. Absolutely like, not. I just want to oh hear. Oh, that's kind of sticky. Okay. Oh. And that. Uh, she, uh, seems, she seems to be enjoying it. You don't got to do the whole thing. I just want to. I don't think this is a bad deal for you, bro. I can. I can promise you that at least I'll try to get hard and have her put it on. That's 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 where we're. I don't, at. Look, bro. Like, and I'm gonna be real with you. I don't know if they, look. It's it's. There's been times back in the day when we used to get real rowdy up at Shade and um, in the early days before before warnings and stuff like that. And we would go pretty crazy and it would be hard to like uh, it would be hard to keep your shit hard with like and do radio at the same time. So oh, I, I feel for you. I already know that that's a problem. I, I, I guarantee that's going to be a problem. I mean, I can get hard, but the idea that I'm going to sit there and then have a conversation in the way that I have conversations and then just try to stay excited is just that I, I can't even – I've never tried to do that before. We had this one bit where, like, this porn chick was trying to read the news with my dick in her mouth, and, like, I couldn't even keep Holy my shit, shit hard. <laughs> Those wow. are the good, that was the good old days. That was, that was, that was the golden days. That was the good old days. And then we got a memo. They were like, ain't, no, ain't nothing going in nowhere ever. And we were like, okay, fine. We chill out. Got a stern talking to. Or did that ever happen? Right. Probably never happened. Uh, this is a story I will tell. Never happened. Thank God we don't know how to catalog shit over there. <laughs> I'm sure I can find it. Good luck finding that one. Um, yeah, I th- yeah, I think that'll be. I think it's going to be a good bid, John. It's a win-win for everybody. And uh, What's it going to cost you? 
Are you going to take a bus over to her place or what? Uh, I'll, I, I would certainly hop in an Uber for that. You're going to treat yourself to an Uber? Yeah. Just to sort of get my head, Set the mood? Yeah. Get in the zone. Focus. I don't need to have... When is this supposed to happen? Uh, at some point next week. Early next week. Look at you. <laughs> you seem sort there's of a proud. Lot of fringe, there's a <laughs> lot of fringe <laughs> benefits from this show, man. You just don't take advantage. If I was you, I'd have... Co- I'd be selling wheels in motion coffee cups. I'd be like, <laughs> like, yo, yeah. And look at this. You're finally going to break that dry spell. I, I did not see this coming. Well, hang, hang on, hang on, hang on. Your dick is a desert. It's so fucking dry. <laughs> there's, there's no doubt about that. But... Uh, again, the idea is that uh, she'll just put it on. I mean, that's that's. that's you, your negotiation skills are awful. What do you the mean? idea is that she, no, you. I don't, I don't know anything about this. Lady. You gotta see if it's, you gotta see if it's gonna work. Right. Now, oh, I see. You're supposed to be testing out the damn thing, and then review it at the end. I don't need to hear you grunting and shit. I just <laughs> don't worry. <laughs> you will not. Hear I just want to hear you and the, this chick's awkward fucking conversation, and then. Oh man, this is gonna be strange. It's going to be strange for everybody. <laughs> Look, this is going to... This is one of those deals where it's going to take a little piece of everyone, you know? But it'll be worth it. And anybody that doesn't feel comfortable can leave the room while we're doing that shit. While we play, John. <laughs> I, I really will need that pill, by the way. I, I don't know if I could if I could do it otherwise. Now, now that we're talking about it. I got your back, bro. It's for the show. Look, I don't even think you're allowed to... like. We, we can't even have... like. I don't think... There's like certain rules we can't break anyway, but if you're if you're away from shit, yeah, I'd have to hit the road for this one. Yeah, you'll be fine. Do you got to type? Have him get you a nice little brunette. <laughs> it's not like that. It's just uh, some lady he knows who's uh, uh, available in this way. Look at that, yeah. Kyle. Go ahead. There's Kyle. He's uh, he's calling from DC. Hey, Jude, um, quick thing. So I'm going to pay $100 to watch this video of John and this woman. Not for anything sexual or, or any weird shit like that, just to fucking laugh at him. <laughs> would you be willing to would you be willing to sell rights to the video for $100? $100? $100. <laughs> no, I, I would need substantially more money than that. And then even in the, I, would, I would never agree to that. I would never agree to that. John, you're getting free pussy. Yo. Stop being a bitch. Again, I'm not getting free pussy. That is not what we're talking about here. This is just some lady who knows how to put this condom on and is willing to do that. That's that's what we're talking about. That is what we're talking about. All right, about. well, he's got, he's got nah, me bro. on that. <laughs> you got to try that shit, bro. Like, uh, you can't I just... got to go. Yeah. All right, Kyle. Thanks. That's like having some... That's like going to a restaurant and have someone just show you the food and be like, and then you have to review the food by looking at it. Like, you got to try the damn thing. Yeah, but I don't know anything about this, really. I mean, I've had a quick phone call. We discussed. You said yes. Yeah. Yeah. All right. Well, I, I, do you, are you feeling bullied or anything like that? No, like, of course not. All right. I'm no, just, course, I just want to know. I don't, I, don't, I, don't, I don't want you to fucking be curled up in the corner talking about like he fucking... He peer pressured me into the pussy. You Are you out mean? of your mind? No. All right. So this is I, all right. I'm just but, saying I don't know anything about this lady or what. I'm what just saying if you're gonna do it for the show, you we need we need <laughs> we need fucking audio, bro. I can go to the bathroom and jerk off with it on or something. I don't know. No, no one wants to hear. No, no, John. No. Oh, can you imagine if I did that? Oh my goodness. That's almost that's it's, it's, <sighs> Charlie and Austin. Hey, what up, dude? What's up, Charlie? Hey, first off, let me just say. Love Hyena, love Hummingbird, got both of those. Thanks My for man. writing those. Thank you. Hey, <laughs> second of all, John's going to find some way to, like, find some sort of fucking excuse and pussy out. He ain't going to go through it. I'm not going to be surprised if next week we tune in and, oh, I missed a fucking bus or some shit. Because this <laughs> is some motherfucker who sleeps on a fucking floor and lets some sort of dog fuck him. He ain't going to pull through with this shit. Yes, I will, Charlie. I guarantee it. I guarantee it. Guaranteed. Fuck. Fuck you, A hundred percent. There's no doubt. Right. You... You, you, Jude is giving you everything. All you got to do is just insert anybody. You can't even fucking do that. What? No, again, this is more complex than I think people are allowing. I don't know anything about this woman. So I know, I, it's going to be crazy. <laughs> Yo, there's been there's been times where I went to go sleep with somebody sight unseen, and it turned out really bad for me. Yeah. It turned out really bad for me. I was, yeah. I couldn't. I, I got real nervous and couldn't get my dick hard. So yeah, but John, John's not even going to show. I mean, getting the dick hard is a different thing. But John, I bet John's going to find some reason not to show. Not happening, Charlie. Not happening. 
Yeah. Wrong. Wrong. You're in showing up. You're in showing up. I'll be there. I'll be there. <laughs> I'll be there. You're going to miss the bus. That's what's going to happen. But I'll catch yep. the next one. I'll catch yeah. the next one. Are you going to get drunk? Are you, are you going to have a couple of drinks to loosen up? Or you know, you I actually go, thought about sober? I thought about that, but the problem there is that I have to I have to talk, and I get a little screwed up when I'm drinking, so I, I don't want to sound drunk. Yeah, I hear you, bro. I hear you. Oh, this is going to be so good. Can't wait for that. And <laughs> Derek in uh, High Point, North Carolina. Hey, what's up, Rude? What up, though? I'm chilling, John. Yo, man, stop overthinking shit, man. Just get with the girl, let her suck your dick. And after she sucks your dick, then put the damn condom on. And John, this ain't even about like your sexuality. Wait, wait, wait. This is unprotected this is... sex. What are we talking about here? I mean, pretty... John, just times... get some sex, dude. Just just go do it. Just Uber your ass over there. Have mm. a few drinks. However mm. confident you was feeling when you damn freestyle that night in freestyle battle, get in that mode. Go over there and beat the pussy up, man. He he makes it sound so easy. I don't know. We'll you can do it, really man. Is. Mind over matter, bro. Said, well, I, 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 don't, I don't know her. I don't know her. So what? Hell, Rue, how many chicks you meet that you don't know and you fuck on the regular, man? Uh, there's been many a time. Um, See, and and like, yo, dude, just have a conversation. Have a con- talk with her for, uh, you know, kick, chop it up with her for 20 minutes. Get to know one another for a little second, and then go, then start taping. Not, not too, not too long though. Not too long. Not too long. Oh, because I'll turn her off. Is that the idea? It's a possibility. Right. I don't know, John. You be talking crazy and be saying some off the wall stuff. You might doggone. Just don't bore the chick, man. <laughs> and don't get scared. Don't worry. Don't <laughs> Thanks, worry Derek, for the vote of confidence. Hard. John, you're going to talk I'm her pussy you, dry. That's happened. I mean, even though you look like you're like 50 years old when I see you on IG, I was like, damn. <laughs> But if you're getting some pussy, John, go for it. Don't overthink it, man. It's not an algebra test, it's just pussy. And this is for science, bro. This is like for science. You're literally trying out this for. You're literally trying it out for everybody. That's true. And that's, the wheels, the wheels are in motion, John. The as wheels we speak, are in motion. As we speak, there it is. But <laughs> people are fucking really coming down on you, Gee, Bo surprise. Jones. Oh man, Bo. What's going on? This is Bro Jones yet again, John. Stop it, man. Stop it. Everybody thinks you're a loser, as always, and it's not going to work out for you. What the hell are you saying? First you of all, that, right? not everyone thinks I'm a loser. I, I, I accept that you do, but I don't give a fuck what you think. <laughs> all right? And so, you but, are of the course it's going to work out. definition of white privilege. All what the you hell get are you talking about? chance after chance after chance, and you blow it. No, I don't like blow always. it. No, I don't blow it. I'm not going to blow this either, bro Jones. No, 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 no. <laughs> the only thing that's not going to get blown is your dick. That's about it. Damn. That's not going to happen at all. And you're going to make the same excuses. Well, I'm sorry. I had to talk. And then and then a bird. A bird flew by, and it just, it just threw me off, and I couldn't get hard. And then, and then once the bird was looking at me, I just ran. I, again, I guarantee that this will happen. That is, I'm right. going to go That's there, good, good and then she's going to uh, put this on me, and I'll, I'll tape it. And then that, that You're probably not even going to wear clean underwear. Why are you going to wear clean gonna underwear for well? Well, that, oh, man, you, that no, actually no, no, brings up. Really I know, but yeah, yes, really I will. Got a plan on that one. But yes, I will have clean. No. Yes, no, I, I will look that, good. I will look good. All right, there it is. I'll get my hair cut. Done. It's settled. I don't think you don't need a fucking haircut, John. Just make sure your drawers is, and your fucking ass is clean and shit like that. Yeah, I need some new underwear. They're all kind of go do a whole bath before you like do a whole bath. Do a whole bath. Go in, go in the bathroom and do a whole bath before you fucking go out there and do some shit with her. I will definitely be clean. There's there's no doubt about that. It's a long Uber ride to the West Side, so just fucking whole bath, whole bath. <laughs> as long as you have fucking your sex yell, John. Your sex yell, you got it. Right. Noted. Sex ale? What the fuck is that? <laughs> this ain't no motherfucking penis. Thanks, Chris. <laughs> For the show, oh, so good. Whatever, dude, man. We're like, yo, we're making you a new man. We got the dog trainer coming in on on Friday on Monday, and you' gonna hook up with that chick later on in the week. Like, you're fucking golden, dude. All right, but again, I, I really want to be clear about this. This whole hookup thing. I mean, I understand what you're saying, but right, I know. 
<laughs> you John. seem so disappointed. John, bro, like, we're going to take care of you. You're going to be good, man. You'll, you'll be fine. You just eat the fucking blue pill. You go in there, you chat with her, have her put the thing on you. Tape a little bit. It feels like this. It feels like that. And then the afterwards, your review. That's it. Yeah. I can do that. It's like it shouldn't shouldn't be more than two minutes worth of you talking. That's it. And it's been years since you got some pussy. So, like, <laughs> there you go. I could pull off a salad, too. Don't worry about that. <laughs> I can't. I don't need you taping while it's happening, man. Like, I don't even want to hear that shit. Like, I don't want to hear you grunting or breathing hard or saying I'm sorry. I don't want to hear none of that shit. <laughs> I'm sorry. I don't want to hear none of that. The more we talk about it, the more real this seems. This is going to be hard. You the one that said you wanted to do it. <laughs> I mean, it was so abstract before we started talking about it. Now, 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 now it's really going to happen. And now you're like, oh, shit. It's really sinking in. I'm like, how am I going to do that? I don't know. We'll see. I'm going gonna, I'm gonna to need that, that helper. He got a good friend. Yeah, exactly. Wow. He got a friendly friend that's going to fuck you, man. I got to tell you that. Again, you're going too far. You're going, you're going too far. That is a friendly fucking friend. Rod's going to... We're going to end with Rod because he, he's going he's gonna to give you a pep, pep talk. Rod. Yo, what Go up, ahead. dude? Go ahead, bro. Hey, hey, John, man, I just wanted to give you the pep talk. Dude, you got this shit, man. Everybody's always hating on you, but you got some love here from Knoxville, Tennessee. I believe in you. You got to do this one for the crew, man. Just go in there. Don't overthink it. You know what I mean? Pop that game and, 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 and talk smooth to it. And goddamn it, make it happen, baby. You got this shit. Look at that. The one guy that has your back doesn't even understand how this works. He doesn't have to even spit game. It's already agreed upon. Yes, it's a done deal. It's a done deal. This is the beauty of it. Like, he can't fuck this up. I just show up. The only way you're going to fuck this up, John, is you're going to get too drunk and you're going to start fucking talking politics. And then... I may, I may have... Well, you're going to get that, drunk dude. and start talking don't CNBC talk. talk and then she's going to get bummed out and bail. That'd be a problem. Just fucking walk in there and whip your dick out. Oh, my God. No, I'm not going to do that. Again, Hell, yeah. Like a Don. Whip your dick out and, and tell her get on it. And, and, have, do this, and do that's what you do, Rob. The crew, man. <laughs> John, just John. Let me just hear you say, "Get on it." Let me let's see, let's say how that goes. All right, it's time to get on it. No, all right. <laughs> hey, get on it. No, no. It'd be like, hey, you want to get on that? Get on it. No, <laughs> no. You got you got to say you got to say you know what it is. Get on it. You know what it is. Get on it. You you know what yeah, it is. Right. Get on it. There you go, John. Perfect, see? man. That, Perfect. That, that's that's pure me. Own that shit. There you go. Make us proud, John. Make us fucking proud. All right, done. All right, this is what we got. We got Justin Hunt coming in. He's going to talk about R. Kelly a bit. We got What Would Jude Do? We got the news. 16-year-olds want to vote in D.C. Guess what I think about that? We'll tell you. All Out Show. Don't go nowhere, dog. You are checking out the All Out Show with Rude Jude on demand. And now, here's the breakdown Breakdown. with Justin Hunt. Justin Hunt, he's out in L.A. I'm in Royal Oak, Michigan. How you doing there, Justin? I'm not envious of your weather, Jude. That's how I'm doing. I mean, the ice storm is done, and uh, it's. I'm looking out the window. It's it's sunny and 47 degrees. So there up. you go. There you go. That sounds like hey. progress. It's, yeah. <laughs> it's, 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 it's almost 50. Almost 50. <laughs> <laughs> right. Well, it sounds like you were nowhere near Coachella this weekend. Uh, It was a massive, massive endeavor for everyone who was there. Beyonce put on an incredible show. Eminem put on an incredible show uh, this weekend. Uh, It was all over my timeline everywhere. I'm sure you saw some of it, too. Uh, I did. I, my power was out, so I couldn't. I, I was dealing with that. So tell me what. T- tell me what was going on. Well, Eminem and Beyonce were headliners this year, which is massive. You've got a rapper, and then you've got a Beyonce. Oh, you got the biggest rapper and the biggest pop star at the same time, right? Yeah. Uh, headlining over the weekend, and Beyonce had like a hundred dancers on stage. She did a tribute to HBCUs, historically black colleges and universities, uh, in her. Was she uh, stepping or something like that, or a little bit? But she put she was wearing black and gold for uh, one for Queen B, but two for the Alphas. 
and the Alphas are the first historically black um, fraternity ever. And Beyonce is the first black woman to ever headline Coachella. So Ball. that was that was mega. She brought out Destiny's Child. That was amazing too. Uh, I think Beyonce fan, every Beyonce fan, which seems like every woman I know, they're all like, I don't know how Beyonce, I don't know how Bay gonna top this. This is bigger than anything else. So that's how mega that performance was. Uh, and same thing for Eminem. Eminem put on a, a, a massive show. He had the Sunday night headliner there. They rolled out a augmented reality feature during the show, which was dope. What does that mean? So, so what it is, it's like it's a, you download an app and you hold it up to something in real life and then there's digital performances that take place that accompany what's happening on stage right so you know that's dope that's like the they live shit like when you roddy roddy piper puts on the glasses and then looks at shit yeah right exactly 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 and the thing that i think is is fresh about it's like you can't fight this wave like you know if you we're at the point now we're part of the experience and i know you disagree with this like completely you don't like it as much when people are looking at stuff through their phones or capturing stuff on their phones as opposed to, you know, just watching the show itself. But for a lot of people, that's the highlight of the experience is capture, capturing the content. And so uh, Paul Rosenberg, he released a statement, said, we figured if the phones are going to be there and people are going to be putting them up in the air and looking at them anyway, why don't we provide a way to maybe change the way they're perceiving the show. So you had like huge like Jason Mass and and like chainsaws that were rocking all around Eminem during the performance. Uh, it was dope. It was really, really It's pretty dope. smart. It's like if you can't beat them, join them and add on to it and make it and, and actually turn their annoying habit into something that actually adds to the fucking <laughs> experience. That's pretty fucking... It's, <laughs> That's pretty. That's uh, that's pretty smart, dude. That's that's dope. I would actually, I'm, I'm kind of curious to see what that looks like. We have a video. I'll send it to you. I know you're in a snowstorm. I'm glad you have power. But like the thing that I think is really cool too is like they also had a mom spaghetti pop up shop <laughs> during Em's performance. Uh, M read some mean tweets. Jimmy Kimmel came out and Eminem read mean tweets. And it was like, you know, tweets like, you know, Eminem, remember back when Eminem was good and then Eminem played off of that, you know, he was like, well, here's some joints where back when I was good, I think it's really dope. He's always been, you know, awesomely self-deprecating and it's worked to his benefit throughout his career, you know, being a white rapper in the beginning, being really poor. I think most people probably have seen the last scene in Eight Mile where this probably captures a lot of that. And And I think we saw a new version of that during Coachella this weekend. So it was fresh. That's dope, man. Uh yeah, that's, and it, they, they will be performing again this weekend. Yes, this weekend, and then Eminem goes on tour following uh, Coachella, so people will be able to check him out. How does that work? Do they do the same? It's the same set, but two weekends, right? It's because it's it's a whole new group of people. That is that is that how it goes? I well, they're still the same headliners. I imagine okay. it's the same set. All right. I imagine. I you know I think there's probably artistic license, but shoot, man, that's such a mega 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 platform i don't know how you remix that like if i'm i i don't know it's it'd probably be very very expensive to you know to to do two different shows two different shows like that true 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 and i might be upset if i you know if i miss like the great you know performance the first week and then the second week i get like you know the experimental thing that doesn't go off too well so i think steely dan did that shit like one night they did fucking all of their big hits and then the 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 other night they did like deep cuts and nobody in new shit and everybody's like what the fuck is this (laughs) but that's of course steely dan would do that they're fucking jazz snobs you know uh but so there you go i don't i don't think you're gonna have to worry about that with m and uh beyonce right not at all what else we got well one of the other big stories that come out of coachella was uh Vince Staples. Now that was the cat that was like, I ain't fuck with Biggie and Pac. And then I went and listened to him, and I was like, this guy can actually rap. So I'm, I'm not even mad at him for uh, saying right. that. Yeah, he's he's one of the most outspoken artists of this new generation. He's known for that. Uh, for his um, the release of or his upcoming release, one of his marketing plans was to start a two million dollar Kickstarter just so he could start, just so he would shut up. So he was like, Hey, you guys want me to shut up? put $2 million into my GoFundMe or my Kickstarter or whatever it was. He's really known for being really outspoken, and he had a lot to say about R. Kelly during his interview with Nadeska on the Coachella interview platform. Uh, right, let's a, hear it. Here it is. Oh. Yep. 
branch into comedy. R. I Kelly like never went to jail. He's a fucking child okay, molester. Okay, let's never talk about R. Kelly. He's a child molester. We can't he's ever a, talk about this well, I'm guy. Saying, he's a child no, molester no, and he pees no, on no, people no. and he can't read and write and he didn't go to jail. I'm a good person. R. Kelly, a piece of fucking shit. So, piece of fucking shit, R. Kelly didn't go to jail for being a child molester and peeing on people and having a human trafficking ring in Atlanta, then I'll be all right. You're about to get me fired from Coachella. It's my first R. time Kelly here listening to you right now. Yeah. He don't work Why here. are you getting me fired because of R. Kelly? They should have booked R. Kelly if they like R. Kelly so much. He would have pissed on somebody in the crowd. Yo, Because he pees on children. <laughs> allegedly. 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 <laughs> allegedly. I, I saw that's, that. uh, that's uh, yeah. Allegedly. He, allegedly. Allegedly. He actually allegedly beat that the, case. It, it allegedly it looked like him in that video that got passed around. Um, yeah. Right there, allegedly next allegedly. to uh, next to the alleged soul allegedly he was dating uh, uh, Aaliyah. Allegedly, <laughs> allegedly he was actually married to Aaliyah. But oh, yeah. but there's more on the R. Kelly front. There was news today that broke that uh, Texas police are looking into claims of a new accuser who has come forward to speak out against R. Kelly. Uh, the accuser are or the police are investigating uh, whether. R. Kelly infected the woman with herpes without first warning her about it. That's a hard that's a hard one to prove. It's really a hard one to prove, man. That's uh cuz you could you could have that shit can be dormant in your system for a long ass time unless she's got she would have to have I don't know like if I'm a judge she'd have to have fucking herpes tests saying negative right before she smashed R. Kelly and then Herbie's test saying positive after. Like, doesn't that... Herpes is... That should just be laying around. It could just pop up on them. Right. Like, right. Well, this, here's a couple of things that are interesting about it. One, in Texas, a person who gives someone an STD without first telling them about it can be charged with assault. So this is actually, you know, a real legal, potentially legal challenge for r kelly on that tip um and the woman also says that her and r kelly of course started dating when she was 19 that lasted from june to february she claims she was infected with the std in december in dallas texas while the singer was in the city for a concert Mm. and she also alleges that she was being groomed for kelly's sex cult i believe i believe the whole grooming shit um I don't know about the herpes shit. That's a really hard one to prove. Yeah, I, you would have to prove that you didn't have herpes ahead of time. Like, you, were you, you, am I the only one that thinks like that? Like, he might have given her given her herpes, but you know, like, how do you prove that? Yeah, you know, it's. I, I think in this case, R. Kelly has such a notorious reputation. That, Does R. Kelly have, is it known that he has herpes? Or? Well, I think that's the thing. I think that they would have to figure out, they probably have to talk to other girls that R. Kelly has groomed or been in a relationship with and see if that is something that has happened in the past. With the story that we talked about last year, the, I believe it was Pitchfork, or Buzz, I think it was BuzzFeed actually, uh, the one that really goes into the sex cult and some of the allegations against them. There was mention of a few women who outgrew the, prime age for the cult and they weren't in the cult anymore so you know potentially there's there's women who he's no longer dealing with that potential that may go on record about it you know maybe that's how you would prove something like that 888-742-3345 uh there's a here's what jocelyn the now earlier this year the accuser in this new case reached out to the parents of uh one of the women who moved into r kelly's house in 2016 her name was jocelyn savage to let them know that kelly had also spent time with his daughter uh, um, etc now jocelyn's father timothy savage said he then asked the woman if she had sexual relationship with kelly and if she had been tested here's the quote other girls have said it to us but they weren't willing to speak up we need a witness to speak up i hope this opens up some answers we felt from the beginning that the reason he's holding the girls is to have some kind of std that he is girl is he has some kind of std that he couldn't cure oh that's ridiculous even if but like the, the problem is even if r kelly does have herpes let's let's say that he does hypothetically have herpes 
it's that is a hard motherfucker to chew. That's that's just a hard one to fucking prove. That's that's all I'm saying. It's not like I guess I guess a lot of shit can be dormant. I think gonorrhea and all. I I think I think most STDs can be dormant. An intent, right? Like there has to be an intent to say, look, I know I got this. Uh, I don't really care if you get this or not. I'm not going to say anything about it. I'm just going to be super scumbag on it. <laughs> and, you know, like. Yeah, I mean, that would be different. Like f- fucking somebody knowing that you have a disease and not telling them. I think that, you know, like, but that wasn't the law. It's it's giving them the disease. Right. It's the law. And that's the, that, there's the difference. Well, according to the article, the law is a person who gives someone an STD without first telling them about it can be charged with assault. So I don't know, based on this right here, based on this police report and this this, this, this description of the law, it doesn't sound like you have to know that you have it. Look, man, I'm... Uh... I wouldn't put it past them. Uh, yeah. <laughs> Kelly's reputation is so bad that. <laughs> yeah, I wouldn't put it past him, but like, it, it, let's say I'm a judge, like, that's going to be a hard. Yo, dude, it's going to be. Like, how do I know that you ain't been walking around with herpes all this time, had an outbreak afterwards, and fucking got mad at his ass? Right. Yeah, it could go the other way. Like, yo, real talk. Like, I've had a couple, I've had a couple situations where girls was like, "You gave me herpes," and then I'm like, "No, I didn't." And then we go get our blood test, and I'm like, "See, look, you got two. You got herpes too. I ain't, get, I ain't give you that. I, I don't have those. You have those. You could have gave me herpes. Now checkmate. You know what I mean? Right. Like so. Right. And they've been sitting around with that shit dormant. But what? Happened, you know, I beat the brakes off the pussy and the fucking. They have an outbreak. <laughs> 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 beat the outbreak <laughs> I beat the outbreaks out that motherfucking pussy yo um I want to make sure we do say this a rep for R. Kelly informed the Washington Post that he categorically denies all claims and allegations can they subpoena a uh, blood test uh, can they can they like can they sub- can are they allowed to see if he check him check his blood because that's how you do that shit you got to get a blood test for herpes can they can they get like a fucking warrant for a blood test or or what would they call it? like a search what do they what would be the legal thing would you subpoena or like get a search warrant for the blood test like what, what do you can they do that shit i i think that's what would happen if this somehow gets to court but again you uh as the law is presented in this piece for example it doesn't sound like he has to know so maybe it's a little slipperier than look man if i was if i was a betting man if i was a betting man and we're talking about entertainers musicians in particularly i'm gonna bet on them having herpes every fucking time (laughs) i'm betting on herpes all the fucking time well at what point does she just have to wear like a condom why don't you just say hey Kells, i'm not getting down with you until you strap on I don't think R. Kelly's gonna t- take no. Con- I don't think. He, I don't think he enters into relationships where where women are uh, with with assertive women. I, at what point do you say, you know what? I'm good, R. Kelly. I, I can tell you're interested. Uh, you're still R. Kelly. You're like honey love with the <laughs> shit, R. Kelly. But right. um, I'm not gonna fuck you like because it, at what point there's a, some videos of a guy that looks like you uh, peeing on a 15 year old, and there's a <laughs> fucking, and you got yourself a weird harem down in Atlanta. So I'm gonna go ahead and just pass on that. Well, here's another factor into this situation. The statement also alleges that uh, the client was the victim of several forms of criminal misconduct by Kelly, including but not limited to unlawful restraint, furnishing alcohol and illegal drugs to a minor, and aggravated assault <sighs> via the reference intentional STD infection. So Damn. he was drugging her up, allegedly, we, liquoring her up, allegedly, holding her down, allegedly, and unloading STDs. I think they got the best. The best case is like the fucking giving drugs and liquor to a minor. You know what I mean? Like... Right, and that seems. I mean, yeah, like, I don't know. Like, how do you prove that either? Right? I guess that's. I guess that's, Yeah, I guess you're right. It's her, his word against hers. He definitely uh, didn't take. I doubt he took her to the club. He wasn't going nowhere public. 
I mean, this sounds like he was introducing her to the the cult over the course of their relationship. I I don't think he was anywhere publicly. This motherfucker needs to stop fucking teenagers or fly to somewhere where that shit is acceptable. You know what I mean? Right. Like, exactly. Like he's too fucking. I, is this what happens when like no one tells you no for fucking thirty years? You just keep doing the same dumb shit over and over again. <laughs> I mean, I think the thing that's interesting here is that, you know, we talk about how pedophilia is wrong. We always, because it is, but we also, you know, <laughs> you know I'm not going, that's not where I'm going, but I'm, you know, I'm I was sure. like, what, yeah, where are uh, we going is, with this, this man? The, She's 19, the equivalent bro. of pedophilia, I guess. But what I'm saying is, is like, you know, we talk about how, you know, young women and young, young boys and girls, they're vulnerable, but child marriage is actually legal in every state in in America. Like, that's how he married Aaliyah in the first place. Like, if the parents are saying, hey, yeah, he go did. ahead and get married, it's okay. Like, there's, you know, more and than I'm 200, get... more than more... 200,000 children were married in the U.S. over the last 15 years. There you go. Like, if, I, I, and, and I'm guessing that Kelly goes to, uh, I'm guessing that he deals with, like, low-income motherfuckers. For some reason, I, I have an inkling. I'm not. I, that's. I'm like. I'm just guessing <laughs> at this. I'm. I may be wrong. I'll tell you this though. The, you know, I. I have. I have a friend who has a daughter who is, or at least at one point, in R. Kelly's house. We've talked about this on the show, and they're not low income. Like they're not a stereotype. You know, outside of the fact that was a dad in the home. No, but the dad was still present. They, there's, there's no stereotype. Like, they don't fit yeah. the stereotype. Damn. Uh, the only stereotype they fit is, Mama's an R. Kelly fan, took Mama and daughter, went to R. Kelly concert, got to rap, and that's how it happened. So, you know. And then, but the mom kind of pushed her in, into it. I don't want to say that, but, like, you know. You don't not want to say it either, so there you go. I can't say the mom. It's the mama did not, my, my friend did not pimp her daughter into <laughs> R. Kelly's house. But I, what I do think is interesting just, is, like. She just ended up in the crib, that's all. The way that, the way that this you know, this story here about R. Kelly's latest charges is presented. <laughs> Sounds a lot like what happened with my friend's daughter. Like, they went to the R. Kelly show. R. Kelly invited them both backstage. Then R. Kelly invited them both to a concert in Chicago. Then R. Kelly invited them both to a concert in Denver. And then that, R. Kelly invited only the daughter to the that, show in Atlanta. And then he only, stopped inviting her <laughs> st ass. Stopped inviting the mama. <laughs> like, that's how you do it. Damn, though. You make them feel comfortable, and then you say, okay, cool, private party, peace. All right, let's go to the phone lines. Uh, Shay in Buffalo is on line one. Go ahead, Shay. So I agree, Jude, that she would definitely need some kind of proof saying that she was negative for HIV or herpes prior to hooking up with him and then positive after. But who's to say that she got it from him? Uh, that's you know, a, she could have got it from an ex and be mad still when just trying to come off on some money from R. Kelly and say, oh, I'm going to say I got herpes from R. Kelly. That's uh, yeah, like that's a. It, I'm not saying she did or didn't, but it would be a really hard one to prove. I agree with you. Uh, let's go to Alex. Right, and even if he is positive for herpes too, there's no way to say that she got it exactly from him. I know. And how do you know that she's not fucking other dudes on the side while she, she's fucking with Kelly? Because that dude's flying all around the fucking country. I'm sure she had a lot of time to herself. <laughs> I'm just. This is all speculation. I'm just throwing out. I'm just playing <laughs> devil's advocate here. Let's go to Alex in North Carolina. Hey, what's up, guys? Go ahead, bro. Could you, could you imagine the fucking sheriff with that warrant knocking on the door? Hey, we're here for the herpes. Get on the ground. Where's the fucking herpes? You know, they're going to have to have a warrant for that assault charge. <laughs> like, if giving somebody herpes is assault, they're going to have to have a warrant for his arrest. You know, and fuck, get over here. Give us your herpes, you bastard. <laughs> fucking... And fucking R. Kelly's a scumbag forever, dude. Like, he's been a dirtbag <laughs> for so fucking long. Like, his track record is not proving him too well right now. You're right. It's almost like, yeah, like, what? The, uh, it's like <laughs> these chicks don't understand history or something like that. Like, yo, dude, like, this guy, you. We already know what this dude is up to, man, but they still keep fucking with him. Like, I Oh, no, he's really good. He likes to give golden showers. He's such a nice guy. His eyes are beautiful. Fucking <laughs> <laughs> dumb bitches, dude. And, you know, I was telling John that, you know, half these people that are doing this shit nowadays are all star fuckers looking for a check. Like, you know, as soon as Harvey Weinstein got busted, dude, how many bitches came out of the closet like, oh, he touched my butt, too. Fuck. 
Harvey Weinstein used to give me hand jobs, dude. Where's my fucking money? Fuck you. <laughs> Oh my God. <laughs> Let's go to Hugh in D.C. Go ahead, Hugh. Because, I mean, all these girls know what he's been doing, and it's so fuck with him. Like, they deserve that shit, to be honest. Oh, damn. Uh, that was not what I thought. I thought you were... You, uh, I, yeah. I mean, he's a piece of shit. Don't get me wrong. I mean, fuck R. Kelly. But, I mean, the reality is, I mean, he's always fucking young girls who won't fuck with him. I mean, like, hey. <laughs> Um, it, it, R. Kelly to me is like the is like a, I don't know he's like the hot stove like you don't don't touch the don't fucking touch the, you gonna get burnt like you fuck with R. Kelly in one way or another like he just exactly like I mean he could be like a lot of those girls like dads and shit you know what I mean I mean you I think don't know. It's, it's, you think they were too, they were probably too young to even remember this case is the is the thing. Like, I mean, I don't know. I, I they don't have mean, to do a Wikipedia. No, because like I've asked girls, like girls that I know, like personally, I'm like, yo, would you fuck with an older dude? And they're like, no, you know, you know what I mean. So then, how the fuck? <laughs> man, I, I don't get it. I feel like it's every parent's responsibility to be like, this is how you use a condom. This is what safe sex is. Never have, never talk to R. Kelly. Like, it's just be like <laughs> the top three things. Don't take, never. don't take candy from strangers. Right. Never talk to R. Kelly. Never, wear a condom. Yeah, exactly. Bring a pencil to class. <laughs> <laughs> That's the truth. Big Mike in Detroit. Go ahead, Big Mike. Hey, what's up, Drew? Yo. What up, though? This shit been going on since the dawn of time, bro. I finished high school in 95. Me and you about the same age, bro. Yeah. I finished high school in Indianapolis in 95. Had government class with this chick who was fucking with R. Kelly. He used, he used to fly to Chicago and shit. This bro would come to school with pictures of them off, like, long weekends and all that, bro. Like, to this day, like, real shit. See the bra walking around the city and all that. And she was bad, don't get me wrong. But her mom knew about that shit. Sometimes her mom would even even take her to the dude. Like, so what yeah. this is, this shit been going on since dawn of time. Rock and roll, you know, whatever. R&B singers, they had hoes. The hoes get old. They have kids. They turn their kids into these hoes. I mean, real <sighs> shit. Look at Black China. She, so, she, she's a pioneer. Your yeah. friend's a pioneer. Hey, I was, yeah. This ain't my friend, but you know what I'm saying? <laughs> I knew the shit was going down, and she yeah. bragged about it. Her mom bragged about it. Like, did dude she, been gully for a long-ass time, dude. Did she talk about Kells paying her? Like, was she getting money and stuff from Kells, or was, was she just getting Yeah, Yeah, not like getting cashed out, but flying out there, long weekends, dinner, all that shit, getting fucked, and... Hey, going back to Indianapolis and go to class. Real That's, shit. That was like the high, that was like the height of R. Kelly too, man. Like like ninety five R. Right. Kelly. Like she, oh, seems like you're ready. That bitch is ready. <laughs> <laughs> For real. Let's, it let's wasn't go. fucking with high school dudes, and that's cool. But hey, it went down. Let's let's go to uh, Kendra and on six. Uh, yeah, so with the herpes thing, I was agreeing with you, like, it would be hard to prove that he gave her the herpes, but if I was going to start some sort of, like, uh, sex cult, I would be sure to have people tested before I allowed them into my sex cult so they didn't bring me, like, AIDS or, like, what was it, the super gonorrhea shit from the other day. Like, I would definitely make sure that nobody is bringing me no cat, dog diseases and all types of shit, so... I would think that he probably did have her tested, and uh, the rest of them too. They could be pregnant when they come into the cult, sending them with babies and all kind of stuff. Let's go to uh, Michael in Connecticut. This is crazy. I can't. Yeah, yo, everybody went to uh, Michael. Everybody got our Kelly story. Michael. Yes, sir. Go ahead, man. Yeah, man. Uh, I got a niece who uh, dated R. Kelly uh, back in the nineties. Damn. Um, How old was, was she? R. Kelly. Go ahead. How old was she? Uh, at that time, she was young. She was uh, like 17, 18. Mm. Um, she kept it from the family, you know, real quiet. She um, lived in Atlanta. And um, I, I'm not too sure how they met, but um, I believe it was a concert. And, um, you know, my, my, my niece is not a bad-looking female. She's a hot female. Uh, she was also in the uh, uh, I Wish, uh, My Wish uh, video. I will. Excuse me. <laughs> Do you have so a she made in the video? Sir. Damn, <laughs> damn. If you look at if you look at the video with the lady who was braiding his hair, that is my niece. Oh man, <laughs> I'm pulling it up right now. <laughs> Yo, man, does that like porch. Michael? Does that sitting like fuck you up? Sitting on the, can, sitting on the can, porch. That's my niece uh, braiding his hair. She was uh, braiding his hair 
all the time back then. Oh my gosh! Does that fuck up uh, R. Kelly for you? Or are you? Uh, can you like not listen to him? Or are you? Oh what? no, man! But it's still my man. I'm, I listen to his <laughs> fillers. I mean, what he, what he, I, you know, to me, what he do? I don't know what he do. You know, it's hearsay to me because I'm not, you know, I don't, I'm not there. I don't know. You know, you hear all this stuff on uh, TV and 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 radio and all of that. You, you know, people are hearing stuff and you know saying stuff, but you don't have the true facts. Right. Um, we'll never ha- we'll never have the true facts about whatever goes on unless we hear it from him personally. We just know. we do know we we do one, Yeah, we know he's got a penchant for young women. We, we know that. <laughs> oh yeah, much. no, yeah. True that, true that. Yeah, true that. I mean he took care of two of my like I said, he took care of my niece and two day I think he's taking I still to this day I still think he's taking, he's taking care of my niece. I Damn. mean, let's be honest. R. Kelly was sat on BET in an interview with Torre saying, what do you mean by underage? This isn't a guy who really hides it. We know that this is the kind of stuff he's into. He says right, it. Right, 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 right. And he paid, he paid for a lot of stuff for her cars, apartments. Hey, let's be honest. School. I know Damn. you saw that video. I know you saw the video, the, the original yeah, video yeah. when he peed on the girl. How oh, old she no, was? No, I didn't, I did, he I, definitely I, I peed on. But I still don't. I still can't think that that, that was him. You know, I, I I did see it. Even the ones with um him and his sex videos. I I still you know. I think I'd probably be in denial too if it was my niece. Well, at least yeah. she got a good college education. What right. is she doing now? Well, now she's working. She's doing her own thing. Um, there you go. You know, she has three kids. Um, she's living her life. You know, there's there no is. talk about our Kelly still. You know, to this day. Um, he sponsored her. her. Um, <laughs> right. <laughs> Scholarship. There it is, the R. Kelly Scholarship Foundation. <laughs> um, look, man, that, that, thanks, Michael. Uh, it, so, it sounds like uh, the parents are complicit in, in most of these uh, arrangements that I've heard of so far. Like, yeah. yeah, I mean, that's the thing that's saddest to me. You know what I mean? Like, at what, at what point are you willing to pimp your child? How far are you willing to pimp your child to, you know, glow up? And he, I bet you he's uh, after that case. He is. He probably goes state by state and looks at the lowest he can go. I'm guessing. Like, I'm. I'm guessing. I'm. I'm literally. I'm serious. I'm guessing. Mm, they, California, sixteen. Yep. Mm, not this weekend. Not this weekend. We're going to Mississippi. D and uh, D in Houston. Hey Jude. Go ahead, D. Um, I just want to say these. These women allowing these men to do, you know, allowing that man to do pimping out their daughters and shit. Like, who does that? Like, what's wrong with these hoes? Like, a woman will only allow a man to do what she will will allow him to do. I mean, am I wrong or am I right? Like, after the whole trial broke out, I cut everything. Every time R. Kelly played in the radio, I cut that shit off. Like, everything, anything associated with him was cut off. Like, everything. And people will still, you still go out to a spot, even my mom was still dancing and stepping to the name of love every time she heard it on the radio. So I just, you know, I, I don't, I'm, I'm, you know, I just don't understand why it's such a shock. You know, how can you go to court and say, he accused me of that and this? You knew you was sleeping with the devil. You knew you was going to come up with the demons. I mean, I just, I don't understand that. Yeah, I hear you, dude. And it, it, uh, not many people uh, stand by their uh, belief system as as strong as you do. Like you literally turn off the thing. But uh, um, it's been shown over and over again. America will forgive you if you got a good hook. Because ignition was way after that shit, and like everybody loved that shit. Uh, ignition. It definitely made me feel like he probably didn't do it. At that See? point, I was like, <laughs> you know, a pedophile wouldn't make this song. This song is too good for a pedophile. Uh, this is, let's. Uh, damn. Let's uh let's go to let's see uh let's go to uh Colin in DC. Yeah, yeah. So I just want to comment on the fact that you can actually prove intent to give somebody herpes or any STD. You know, if R. Kelly actually went to the doctor and got diagnosed for it, then he has knowledge of it, and that's going to be on record, and that will come out during a discovery. That's uh that's that that's an interesting thing and and but that would be more in civil case wouldn't it and, and, as opposed to criminal that I can't that I can't answer I don't know see I think I think I think she's setting this up for a settlement dog that's what my guess yeah, is yeah it, it it makes sense I think she's setting it up for a fucking settlement and look man uh R Kelly aside because I think everybody that like I said anyone that fucks a goddamn 
Like, if you fuck a porn chick or a goddamn, like, you should just guess that they got something like that. Like, just, that's common knowledge. Yeah, man. go prepared, man, you know? That's common knowledge. But do it. Just get as far as civilians go, yeah, as, as far as civilians go, man, I, I, that's some, that's some, uh, I, I, I get where he's coming from, but man, it's, uh, let's go to Garrett in Farmington. Garrett. Hello. Go hey, ahead. All right. Yeah. I I was asking, you know, at what point does his does his reputation his reputation precede him, you know? Like like I was telling John, I don't really know a whole lot about, you know, the legal legal situation and stuff like that, but most of the time when you read about somebody doing something fucked up like a DUI in the paper or, you know, somebody beat his chick and is going to jail now getting sentencing, they always seem to reference, you know, like his his track record and that's something that's always taken into account. You know, like let's say he didn't he didn't give the chick SCDs, but you know, what are the possibilities of the judge just going purely off of his his reputation, you know? Yeah, but that's the thing, like if I, I that that's that it's a real fine line, man. You can't you know, if he, he doesn't if he's not guilty of anything, technically he's not guilty of nothing. That's that's and well, you know, we saw this with Meek Mill, right? You know, I personally am not sympathetic for someone who breaks, you know, parole six times. You know, that's just me. But there's a lot of people who sit there. A lot of those decisions were made on the reputation and his legal history as to why he's in jail now. You know, I mean, look, yeah, we saw those this with were, those OJ. convictions. This shit is not a conviction. Well, we you saw this. I mean? We saw with OJ, right? Like OJ got 33 years in the documentary. They gave OJ like super real time. Yeah, as payback for the time he didn't get for yeah, what they, they, maxed, was. they maxed out on his ass. So yeah, they might. Yeah, they might. They might do him like that. Uh, it, it it it's gonna be interesting to see. All right, moving forward. Uh, look, I I uh, I was wrong on two accounts. You Bill Cosby ended up beating that fucking case. So <laughs> <laughs> right. I, 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 <laughs> I don't know about all the other ones, but he beat one of them. So <laughs> there you go, Jess. You can you can go on like in Bill Cosby. It did. He's still not convicted. And Janice Dickinson came out and said she lied. She there was said still she a lied gang of other book. chicks. There was uh, still a gang of other. Did you ever watch that thing? Did you ever watch the? Uh, I, I did not. I did not want to take my uh, my thoughts you, on America's Dad. Yeah, you didn't want to. And the, all right, and then uh, and also uh, I was me and you. Me and you had the Kendrick Lamar debate and. We did. Uh, and go ahead, tell everybody the news. Kendrick Lamar, damn. First rap album, hip-hop album in history to win a Pulitzer Prize in music. Now, this is a huge, huge deal. The Pulitzer Prize in music is typically awarded to classical artists, jazz musicians. The significance of this is that this critically acclaimed work is now among the likes of, like, you know, MacArthur Fellow, Julia Wolf, and Chinese composer Du Young. These are like the top of music, not the top of, uh, of hip hop or rap or top of pop, like the top most revered bodies of work in the history of sound. So I told you this album was great, dude. We had a big debate. I said this one isn't as referential. I'm glad the Pulitzer people agree with me. <laughs> there you go. So shout out to Kendrick Lamar. Uh, you fucking you made history, man. That is that's that is spectacular. Uh, and I guess I guess it, it's fair to say that rap has finally arrived. It t it took a while, yeah. but now the Pulitzer is even fucking with him. You know what I mean? It's in the it's in the Rock and Roll Hall of Fame. They fucking with us, dog. They we made it. With us. We made it. We did it. Brooklyn, it's we a, did it. It's a victory for everybody. <laughs> Word up. Justin Hunt, I appreciate you coming through, man. Uh, the company man on everything. At the company man on everything. Make sure you check out the YouTube channel. Actually, check out Empire's YouTube uh, channel as well. Uh, it was just announced this week. I'm the director of content strategic marketing. And Congrats, so, bro. Thank you. We have a new series that we're rocking right now called How I Built My Empire, where we talk to uh, artists about their cheat codes to success. Level up. Damn, that's dope, man. I'm going to check that shit out. Appreciate you, man. All right, let's go. You are checking out the All Out Show with Rude Jude on demand. Hey there, how you doing? Not so good. Aww. That's okay. I got your back. You having a problem in your life? With your girl? With your guy? With your mom? Your dad? Your job? 
somebody bumming you out, well, call 888-742-3345. Talk to Judy. I'll be your therapist. I'll be your life coach. I'll get you through it. I know about I know about ladies. I know a thing or two about ladies. I'm gonna help you out with your girlfriend. Ladies, I'm a guy. I know how we think. I'll help you out with your man. Kids being an asshole, call up. I'll fucking help you. If you take one step towards me, I'm gonna take two steps towards you. Eight at eight seven four two three three four five. It's what would you do? And it's coming up next. You are checking out the All Out Show with Rude Jude on demand. It's like a ray of light beaming down knowledge from the heavens above. <laughs> what would you do? Need advice? Call us up right now. Eight 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 shade forty five. What would you do? do, do. Shade, shade, shade forty five. Shay four fifth, what up though? You got a problem? Call me up right now. Eight 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 seven four two three three four five. We got Joe and uh Saint Pete. Go ahead, Joe. Yo, I got a fucked up issue. But I don't feel fucked up. I used to feel fucked up, but I don't no more. All right, so what's the problem? So I've been married for about two years. I came from, you know, a different background than my girl. She's a good girl. I I didn't grow up like that. Mm-hmm. But I met her mom type out, I don't know, like three months ago. I want to fuck her so bad. Like, every time I see her, that's all I think about. And I think she's giving me the green light, but I can't be sure. Wait, you, you've you been married for two years and you just met her mom? Yeah, because they live out of town, but they just moved to Florida. And you want to fuck her mom? Yeah, it's fucked up, I know. You know, look, I'm not the guy to tell you don't don't cheat, like, but you gotta fuck her mom, dude. Like I don't know what the fuck it is. I seen it and I'm you know, at first I was like, Alright, she looks good, you know. I'm thinking down the road this is what my wife's gonna look like, cool, cool. But every time I'm around it, I don't know, man, I feel like I don't know, I feel like she's giving me the green light and maybe she it's, might be. What what do they call that? Taboo? Maybe it feels taboo. Yeah. It's something I shouldn't be doing. And maybe that's where it excites me. Yeah, I'm sure that's quite exciting. And perhaps uh, she finds you attractive or she is uh, competitive with her daughter and wants to see if she still has it. And you're just a fucking, you're just a trophy. Oh, shit, she's playing. Who knows? I don't know. I, I don't know. Um, oh, might be a setup. Could be a setup. Or it could be a fucking setup. I, it could be any of these oh, things. Fuck. But. I don't, look, bro, like, man, if, look, think about it like this. That's how your girl's going to look when she gets older. If you want to get to that, a good way to get to seeing your girl get older and have her be hot is by not fucking her mother. <laughs> no, you're right, you're right, you're right. I mean, if you got a good one, man, like, uh, I'm not even saying don't cheat. Like, I'm just saying don't fuck her fucking mom, dude. Like. Yeah, but this is the thing, though. Like, I don't feel that way. Like, listen, there's beautiful women everywhere you go. Everybody looks. That's okay. Uh, you know, that shit is all long hair and vagina to me, right? Yeah. So I don't care. But something different about her mom. That's that's all I know. She's that's throwing you know. a vibe. The mom's probably throwing you the vibe, dog. That's probably it. Damn. Well, that's the problem. So well, I'll, take, just... I'll take heed what you say. Uh, yeah, and if you do, if you end up do fucking her mother, don't you ever get drunk and say that you did. Like you keep that shit to yourself. Nah, you, you get ulcers, okay? You fucking <laughs> let that shit eat you up inside. You do not fucking admit that. That is gonna break your girlfriend's brain or your wife's brain. Yeah. Jesus Christ, dog. Yeah, I won't do that. No, no, no. Oh my god. All right, Joe. Bye. He's going to fuck that lady. Uh, 888-742-3345. 888-742-3345. Let's go to... Uh, let's go to Brandon. Brandon. How you doing, Jude? Thank you Good, for bro. Call. I got a problem. What's up? So, here's the issue. Uh, me and my baby mama have known each other for 10 years. We dated for six, broke up for three. Your phone's uh, fucked up, bro. Jane, 
sorry. Um, recently in January, um, we started messing around with the child, uh, with messing around. And uh, the issue I have is that my child is sick. She has cancer. And um, what I want to figure out is that should I push this on to make things work between me and her, or should I just leave it alone and just be a co-parent? I mean, you guys have been together for 10 years. Um, a lot of times a sick we child. For, we would, we'd known each other for 10. We were together for six, but broke up for three. And recently we just started messing around again in, in January, around January, February-ish. How old is the and kid? I want to be five. So, well, here's the deal, man. Like, you you got to, whatever you decide, you, you got to be, you don't want to confuse your daughter. Like, you know what I mean? And you don't want to fuck with your baby mama's brain. So either you got to be clear about it. Either be with her or don't be fucking with her. That's my, that's my opinion. Uh, uh. My my boss told me that back when I was eighteen, and I would I was still fucking with my baby mama on and off, and he was like, "Look, man, you either be with her or you don't." Because it's well, the it, issue I have with this too is that the three years that we had split up, she was with another guy. There's another guy in the picture she's with that she was sleeping with me around January, February, but ended up breaking up with him, moved out of his house into her own apartment. So now mm-hmm. I need to figure out myself and my can I even attempt to even do that? Or Why don't you, leave have you have you talked to her? Yeah, and it's like she she's confused. Like she's like me; she's confused too. And I feel like I, could be, I think I don't know if I should be better off by myself and just keep just a co-parent deal. But I, I'm not. I'm unsure. Of my How you been doing these last three years? <laughs> At first, it was it was it was it was horrible because I lost her. But after that, I, I feel like I got better. Like I feel better. All right, then just be the, do the co-parent shit, but quit fucking her. All right. Gotcha. I can do that. Just fucking quit fucking her. Be like, look, man, uh, we can't be doing it like this. Uh, let's just let's just raise the kid together. If you're not sure and I'm right. not sure, then like, let's just raise the kid together and not make this any fucking weirder than it is. Like, you got a kid with cancer, yeah, you got to fucking focus on that. Yeah, especially with her being sick too. Man. Like I said, we got to see each other month and month, regardless for chemotherapy. So it's like, yeah, there's going to have to be a boundary somewhere. I think. Yeah. All right, there you go. Uh, let's go to Ty in Lubbock, Texas. Ty. Hold up, hold, hold up one second, Ty. Go ahead, Ty, you on. What's up? What up, though, man? What's your problem? Well, it's kind of a fucked up situation. Uh, so I've got my buddy's wife that uh, started, like, giving weird vibes towards me. Like, would text me, like, you look good today and shit. And, okay. uh, well, I mean, it, it went past that. And one night I had a little too much to drink. And uh, she come over and I ended up banging her. Well, I haven't done it since. But the really fucked up part about it is her husband is cheating on her as well. So they're both cheating on each other. They don't even know it. They've got, like, four kids. All right, so just keep your mouth shut, and I wouldn't bring it up to him, and I probably would try not to keep fucking her. Yeah. Oh, hell no. Absolutely not. And I just how's don't the, know. How's the pussy? Like, you, how to get away you, from the situation. Has she tried to fuck you again? Yeah. Oh, hell yeah. Oh, she keeps trying to fuck you, huh? Does she know that she's being cheated on? Oh, yeah. I mean, I think so. So, I, she this said, is... She hasn't hinted it, but I think she does. So she, she's kind of using you as a tool. Oh yeah, definitely. You're I, being it, used. I don't want to get like fucking shot, dude. You know, he finds out he's gonna be mad at motherfucker. Yeah, you need to uh, have a talk with her. Be like, look, I'm not gonna fuck you anymore. Yeah, for real. And then uh, leave it at that. And I would probably in. I'd probably try to just hang out with him when she's not around. Well, that's the thing is she never comes around unless I'm there. So then he's suspicious. She, I mean, he's like, why do you only come out here when, you know, he comes over? Start having him come over to your house oh. there, champ. <laughs> Fucking stay. Just start having him yeah. come over to your crib. You had her come over. Have him come over now. All right. Alrighty. She's using you, bro. She like, yeah, great. You got to fuck you got to fuck his wife. Congratulations. You're a really good friend. 
<laughs> you're, you're a great friend. You got to fucking feel your wife's pussy. She's using you as a weapon. She was mad at him because he was cheating. So what's the best way to get back? Fuck his homeboy. Yeah, it's a song yeah, as old as time. Tell he fu- <sighs> He's going to find out eventually and it's going to be game over. Or, or not. He might. She might not say nothing. She might. Just be if he comes if he if he comes skipping up to you or some shit like if he comes if he starts skipping like towards you that means he's about to fire on you so like or like comes charging at you just you know have to put up your hands just be ready all right <laughs> about to be fight or flight mm-hmm. uh, let's go to let's go to Jessica in Chicago go ahead Jess what up my dude started dating one of my clients who admitted to me he had herpes and now he's been sniffing around again and I just don't know what to do so I need your advice wait so all right so your 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 boyfriend or your ex-boyfriend I'm trying to I'm trying to follow this yeah he was well he turned into my ex-boyfriend because um he started talking to my ex-client well my client at the time your client and uh, she admitted to me that she had herpes and I found out that they were talking. So now what? Back. And okay. Now he's been sniffing around. So I'm like, what does that mean? I don't know around? because now she's got herpes, and I don't know what to do. Well, just yeah, be like, look. Uh, so he wants to get back with you, right? And the only thing keeping you from getting back with him is the fact that he might have herpes. Yeah, that she has herpes because she told me in confidence. You're not bummed that you're not bummed that he went and fucked. He left you for a client. Oh yeah, I mean I'm totally bummed about it, but we have a history. We we were together for like 15 years. Oh, buddy. All right. Um, tell him to get tested. Tell him to get a blood test. Be like, hey man, before like, people make people make mistakes it sounds like you forgive them but uh get tested because you don't want to fucking end up with goddamn herpes and then th- once you know all the information then then make you then make your decision all right so that that will show up on the blood test yeah tell them to go get tested for herpes one and two and one a blood g- awesome. get a blood test for that shit herpes two is the genital all usually right. but you can have herpes one on your fucking crotch as well but she probably has herpes two if she's talking about it like that Herpes oh, one no, is a yeah. cold sore on your mouth, you know. Right? No, she she told me she's got genital herpes. Ugh, bummer, dude. Um, yeah, what she dragged it? she dragged dude to the doctor to convince him it's not that contagious. <laughs> so shit. All right, so maybe he doesn't have it. Who the fuck knows? Uh, <laughs> but if you're, in, what do you do for a living? I'm a hairstylist. Oh uh, yeah, they tell you. They tell. You. Tell them, tell y'all everything. Um, yeah. All right. Well, sorry about your your man fucking a chick, fucking your client with herpes. Do you still cut her hair? <laughs> Hell no. I'm about to say. No, I. No. I'll be some bold ass shit. Probably accidentally stab her in the ear. Yeah, you know, give her bangs and shit. Extra high bangs. <laughs> right. All right. Let's go to uh. Yeah. Get the test and hopefully you guys can work that shit out. You're very forgiving. Let's go to Chanel in Dallas. Go ahead, Chanel. Dude, I want to know what to do. I have an 11-year-old cousin who took very inappropriate pictures, not like full-on nudes, but like cupping the titty pics. She's only 11. So cupping titty, tongue down, exposing cleavage, and like throwing up the blood, trying to stupid shit. And so she took these pictures on my six-year-old daughter's tablet. And so I'm wondering, do I approach the kid and be like, hey, I don't appreciate that shit, or tell the mom, but I'm adamant about telling the mom, so she's my cousin, like a really close to hang out, but she's like all about niggas and shit that she's not supposed to be worried about. She's not really an attentive mom. So I feel like if I do say something, she won't really do anything about it. So what is you what do you want to what do you ultimately want to come out of this? Her behavior to I change? Want, yeah, and I know I don't she's not under my roof, so I can't like do it, but like well, it's like I want her to listen and not, you know, be a young guy. It's not you know Yeah, I hear you. It. Um you can have a heart to heart with her and be like, look, man, if you want to talk to anybody, you can talk to me. But it sounds like she's looking for some male attention is is and I, it sounds to me like the dude, the, the father's not around enough or something. That's what I'm guessing. He is, but he doesn't live in a household, but he's around. He's crazy. All, right. All right. Well, 
You might even have a better uh, shit. Um, Tell the dad. But, like, he's all talking, no show. Like, he'll say, she's on punishment, she's this and that. But then you go over, and it doesn't seem that way. So he, like, he's a lot of lip, but he doesn't, I don't think, they discipline her because she's always fighting and, like, just ratchet, ratchet, bitch. And I just don't want to see her grow up like that. And I also don't want her to influence my daughter because my daughter looks up to her a lot. Yeah, that's a tough one. Um, sit her ass down and talk to her. You're, you're her cousin. You're her big cousin. Get yeah, in her ear. Don't tell the mom, though. Because, like I, I mean, said, there's been other instances, and she doesn't really do anything. I mean, you can, but, like, I would holler at her face-to-face. And then if her mom wants to holler yeah. at her, do that shit, too. Look, it's you, you're not out of pocket talk, checking her because she's doing it on your yeah. fucking tablet. Yeah, on my kid's tablet. And like, yo, dude, and yeah. Like, like, hey, you know this is not right, right? Yeah, and, and that's like, other. Know, that's the other thing. Like, see, look, you can't stop her, but you can just worry about your kid. Like, check her, make sure, and worry about your kid and stay in your kid's ear and let her know that that's fucking, that shit's going to equal fucking, it's not a good future. You know what I mean? It's, it's hard to explain it to a six-year-old, but, like, worry about preventative defense with your daughter. Like, I, this one seems like she's too far gone to be all the way real with you. Yeah, are you landing though, dude? I'm just like, every time it's something, it just kills me a little more because I just thought she was going to be better. But thank you for the great advice. I love you. The guy said, don't say what's up and all that, but I have to. I love you so much, and thank you for taking my call. All right, you got it, and sorry about your sorry about your uh, thought, little cousin. It's fucked up. It's, uh, some people just be like that, man. Get in her ear. I don't think it's going to do anything. Mookie B. Mookie B, what, what up, bro? What it do, baby? Chilling, man. What's up, man? Man, not shit, man. Down here in Southeast North Carolina, baby. Man, I got kind of a, a more real life problem for you, bro. Uh, okay. So I did uh, seven and a half years active duty special operations. Went to college. I got two. Co- I got two degrees. I'm gonna start off by saying degrees are a lot like rectal thermometers. You know what I'm saying? You know where they go. Yeah. But uh, no I'm a tradesman now by choice. I'm a pipe fitter. I bring in over sixty grand a year. I got an eviction on my record from when I left the military. Mm. So I'm living in a tent on a lake shore, bro. It's and I just, job. I, I want to know, honestly, you know, from, from like a living standpoint, you know, I got this money. I've applied at apartment complexes to get in. All right. This is what you're going to have to do. They all say the same thing. We can't consider you with an eviction. See, Look, I'm, what the all right, fuck do all I right, do? I got you, bro. Hold up. I got you, man. This you need to go to a, a spot where, where, uh, it's it's uh, owner is renting it out where you're dealing where you're talking directly to the owner and you're gonna have to cake yeah. up and be like look here's six months um we'll pay six months ahead of time off i'll pay six months rent ahead of time to get ahead of the that. home you did it to the own we not it, not a private owner no I well that's the difference these the, it's, you're too high of a risk you're too high of a risk right now dog like Yo, they wouldn't even rent to me without credit, and that's not, that, I don't even have an I didn't even have an eviction. Like I had money in the bank. All right, so you got all that going for you. Unfortunately, you got the fucking eviction. If you explain it, if you explain it to the people that it was because you got called out to the army, then that's a little bit different. But you need to go. You need to get face to face. So get on Craigslist. Start looking again. Go check out these houses where it's the fucking actual owner that's renting that shit out. And fucking and talk to them and communicate. You're going you're going to big fucking apartment complexes. They don't they don't want to see your ass. You gotta run yeah, a flat, right. bro. You gotta run a flat yeah. or else you'll stay in the tent. Yeah, I mean dog, listen, I even got a motherfucking couch in my tent to make it feel more like home. You know what I'm saying? <laughs> I go eat anywhere I go eat the fuck I want except home. Yeah. Look, that's un, that's annoying. Um the good news is is you got is you got you got out of winter. You know, uh, so it's going to be nice and warm for you in that tent. Uh, yeah, yeah, you're right. You're right. But, uh, well, all right, baby, I appreciate you talking to me, Ruth. Yeah, you're you doing it wrong, Carolina, Mookie. Carolina, you're doing it wrong, Mookie. You go, you go, you got to go and put on, put on your nicest clothes and fucking talk as proper as possible and get that shit. I had to do, I didn't have the, I didn't have the evictions, but I had to do the same shit. I had to do the same Roger. shit. They ran a background Roger check that. on me. Yeah, they were like, oh, you got to rest. I was like, man, that was fucking 20 years ago. All right, bro. Peace. D.C. and Illinois. Yo, what up, Judy? How you feeling, man? Man, I'm good, dog. How you doing, bro? 
Man, stress the fuck out, bro. Uh, look, I got this crazy, bitter ass fucking kid's mother, man. She, all right, let me set the stage for you. Mm. Fucking, I used to promote parties and shit. Met the bitch, drunk, knocked her up. All right, Yo. that's all fine and good. I find out the motherfucker crazy. This bitch stole my fucking 88 Chevy Camaro with a 383 stroker motor in it. And fucking sold it to it. Sold it. I don't know what the fuck happened to it. Oh my god! Now, now you got a kid buyer. So, so what's what's the next thing? I'm in I'm in court proceedings with her right now. So I'm trying to get. I initially just wanted joint custody of my son. Right. So I'm just getting crazy, like reports, like she's. I'm I'm completely against cutting hair. You know what I'm saying? That's. That's against my religion. So my son's hair, he's never had a haircut in six years. Okay. She's cut his hair. She's fucking, uh, she just does like little itty bitty nitpicky ass shit to the Fuck point where it's like, look, man, I've got, I've got money. So I'm like, you got a lawyer? I know, I've got, a, I've got a lawyer, Jude. Well, look, that's I, all you, just I've, lawyer the fuck up, bro. That's it. That's all you can do is lawyer up. Yeah, I'm. But see, the question that I want for from you is, I'm at the point now where it's like you keep being petty with me. Now I want to, I want to be petty. I was trying to take the high road and just j get joint custody. Now well, I'm go like, for full Fuck custody. It, I, I got more money than you. I want full custody. Do it. Do it, and then you can dictate terms. Got you. That's got how you. I'll do it. Look, look, man, you can't negotiate with terrorists, and this chick sounds like a fucking maniac. So even fuck, even for your own even, even if you push all that other shit like put all that to the side like it's probably in your kid's best interest that you're raising raising him. Um, the other thing is is like don't shit talk don't shit talk to mom or don't talk shit about the mom in front of your your kid and make sure that she's part of his life because kid needs the mom and the dad you know um, it's it's not it's not the kid's fault that. That your baby mom was a fucking maniac, you know. So, but if I if you got money like that and you can prove that she's unfit, good luck doing it. But lawyer the fuck up and try to get it and get um the 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 odds are against you. But if but dough helps. Okay. Hope, oh, the, the hopefully she's on meth she or some shit. Up, and you can prove it. She didn't show up to court last time. Well, that's, that's, yeah, have her keep not showing up to court, you know? Like, oh. and, and okay, track no everything bad she Judy, does. Man. Good luck. Good luck. Sorry about your, sorry about your Camaro too, man. Uh, that sucks. All right, damn. Let's, let's end with, I fucking hate child support ones. Motherfucking. Let's, uh, let's go to L in Orange, Virginia. L, you the last hey. one. Yo. What up, though? Hey, man. It's crazy, though, man. This, and look, I've been with this chick for like 11 and a half years, man. And, you know, she's been with me through the troubles, through 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 my cheating and everything, man. She held it down, man. But, you know, we about to tie the knot. And <laughs> I still dream about boning them Caucasians, man. I love them. And, you know... <laughs> And uh, everything I've crept out on it has been a white chick. So it's like you know, she catch me looking at porn, and they white. You know, what I'm saying she kind of give me a pass with them. It's like you know, what I'm saying it's like these broads out here nowadays, man. That's why black women want to know. I still love my black ladies, you know what I'm saying, but they want to know why black men love all these white women. It's well, <laughs> they just, just, they just. You know, keeping it up. <laughs> so what, what do I do, man? I don't know. What is your problem? You just, you, uh, you just, you fucking, you want to fuck white chicks every now and again? Is that basically? Man, what? I mean, basically, I mean, I, 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 I mean, you know, I, you know, I, I got a son, man, and, you know, you know, I, I wasn't raised with a father and everything else like right. that. So you try to, you know, I'm trying to do the right thing. But I at the same you. time, man, you know, 
you know, about women keeping themselves up, man, you know, and, and you and you just got them attractions and, the, and you, you know, the feelings, man. And it, You're, it, you it, just it, like white chicks. You, that's your thing. Um, it, it, yeah, when they do you think they, 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 they coke bottle and everything now, perfect things, everything now, man. Is this, way, man. Is, is this like a forever <laughs> thing for you? Do you think like, do you, do you think this is always going to be your deal? Like, uh, <laughs> that's that's the whole thing because you know because I figure if I tie that knot, you know, I'm thinking like you know if I run out this time, it's a sin. I mean, I mean, <laughs> a sin. Get the fuck out of <laughs> here, bro. I mean, come on, dog. Like. Look, man, I would say have some will fucking power. Uh, if you do, it sounds to me like your girl is going to, I know it sounds like out cold, but like it sounds like she's going to stick with you regardless. Uh, I mean, yeah, you how know, many times man, have you cheated? Not, how many times has, How many times has she caught you cheating? Uh, three. You a piece of shit. All right, so yeah, she's and she's fucking, and she'll, she puts up with it. So like, I don't know what you're worried about. Like, it, but it, it, I mean, some of some I I've been up front. <laughs> So I would, like, yeah. You know, I, I would look. Do what you're gonna do. Right. And right. you got a kid with her, right? People, All right, man. Yeah. Look, do your best, okay? Do your best. If you slip up, don't <laughs> tell. Man. All right. That's, that's all I can what say. It is. Fucking. I, that's I don't what know. it is, and that's the same damn feeling. I mean, that's uh, all. Yeah. I, I, that's that's what I need in the lady to do their part. That's all it is. And I mean, hey, it's, it's it's four to one of them. You know what I mean? Look, bro, I'm not like co-signing this behavior. I'm just saying you're gonna do what you're gonna fucking do. So, like, let's not let's let's not kid ourselves here, champ. Uh, and hey, you know man. that you're you know that she's gonna stick around because she's been sticking around. But uh, try to be discreet and don't no bring her, don't bring anything back to her. Oh, no doubt, no doubt. There ain't no nigga like that. All right, there you, there you, there you, you have your. Hey, man, I love the show, man. I love the show, man. Just got on to a couple months ago, man. Well, uh, I, y'all do it up, man. I appreciate it. And, Take care, uh, man. Next time I fuck a white girl, it'll be for you. L. That's L in orange. All right. That was What Would You Do? Don't go anymore. More All Out Show to go. You are checking out the All Out Show with Rude Jude on demand. Yo, what up, though? Hey there. Hey. Hey there. Hey. Thank you for listening to the show. I appreciate you. I sure do. You know, I appreciate you so much. Did you miss any of the show? Go to All Out Show. Well, no, don't go to All Out. Well, if you wanna if you wanna follow Instagram, go to All Out Show at All Out Show on Instagram and Twitter. And if you need to DM, you can just DM that All Out Show. That's a good way to get out of cat. I'm at one more Jude on Instagram. I got White People Wednesday going on today, and it's the shit. Now let's talk. Now let's talk turkey. If you actually missed the show, you can download the app and listen on demand, or you can go to serious.com forward slash on demand and listen a la carte. Jew, why do you say this every day? Because people don't hear it. I don't. It's like a. I say it, and then people fucking email me about how do I hear your show. So here I am telling you one more time. Also, hey. Guess what? Did you miss your chance to get Hyena on vinyl? Well, it is back and it is on Amazon. Grab it for the fucking artwork. It's beautiful. Sage Vaughn did the artwork. It's me reading the book to you. Get you a little collector's edition of Hyena on vinyl. I think there's only... I think there's less than a thousand made. And that's that. Limited run, champ. Limited Hyena on vinyl. This is what, what we got coming up next. We got the news with Johnny. Sex positions for a small peepee man. This is for you ladies. If he's not hitting it right, you can say, hey, why don't we try this? Also, 16 year olds want to vote. You can hear my fucking awesome opinion on that one. That and more. Oh, and Oscar De La Hoya. Got into a bit of a fucking pickle once again. He got caught on camera doing some wild shit. We'll tell you. We'll tell you what we know. Don't go anywhere. It's an all-out show. News coming up next. You are checking out the all-out show with Rude Jude on demand. And now it's time for news 
From the Chin with John Z. Matthews. Oscar De La Hoya, he is now at the center of a $2 million extortion plot after two Instagram models filmed him engaging in what they're calling depraved sex acts with kitchen utensils. Oh, buddy. I bet you I know where they went. Really? What, what does that mean to you? I don't know. Probably like a spatula in his booty. No. Really? I'm guessing. Oof. I mean, what else could... What, he's like licking like uh, a, one of them cake batter shit? Like the batter off of a, a mixer or something? In a suggestive manner? Well, the quote here is, The content of the shocking sex tape includes uh, a naked De La Hoya playing the part of what they're calling exhibitionist in front of the two women. And while w- in one scene, the women are performing sex acts on him with kitchen utensils. So you could, you could be right about that. I think they fucking him with shit. Oh. Um, I think he's bisexual. Like he was wearing like the pantyhose and stuff and the lipstick. Oh, yeah. I, it's I like he you. never learns. Why do you let these people take photos of you like this? Yeah, well, you just like, you literally you had to deal with this before. <laughs> like, it, and the thing is, is like, nowadays, it's like, he should have been like, leak that shit, bitch. And especially in, out in California, that's like revenge porn. He could sue them. Oh, the FBI's involved. They're, they're going after them. Because these women clearly went there hoping to do this. They took photos of his driver's license. They were trying to establish, okay, this is the guy. And then... Damn, these hoes are all cold. Did they say which ones it was? Their names? Yeah, which Instagram? Oh, they do not give me their names. Well, they're selling diet tea. So. <laughs> but the women in their late teens, early 20s, uh, they met... De La Hoya on a dating website in February and then began messaging him on Snapchat. And by the way, this happened over in Pasadena. In his, Pasadena. And I've been in a bar with him, with, uh, with, with some hot ladies. You not, think not, it's the same one, sir? No, 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 no. It was many months ago, but apparently he goes to one of these bars that I like to go to. And then someone said, hey, that's Oscar De La Hoya. I was like, wow, that woman's pretty hot. I mean, look, man. I think he's just a bicycle. Or maybe he likes to do... Gay shit. I don't think they'd be able to extort him if it was like just a regular sex tape, you know? Well, they are saying that it, it would be embarrassing. And they even contacted his ex-wife, uh, Shannon Mokler, trying to squeeze her. She said, no, get out of here. <sighs> these hoes, man. These bitches ain't shit, man. You got, you, I smash chicks off of the internet, but man, you really got to vet them, you know? And yo, don't be doing dumb, don't do dumb shit on camera. Did he know he was being taped or was the yes. other girl? He did. Yeah. That's, that's what they're saying, that it, it Shame appears. you, Oscar. I already kind of know the answer to this, but I mean, do women ever suggest to you, hey, can I film this or anything like that? No. 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 That, not, I don't bring it up and they don't bring it up and. I don't have you ever the only time I've ever like filmed some shit was I did it to turn me on like like if I'm actually really trying to do do work it's hard to film and do work I hats off to all of all of you guys doing porn like fucking and holding the camera at the same time it's amazing I know and it's not really shaking it's it's surprising they, they got that steady cam like <laughs> I know Fucking doggy style, no hands, just fucking. I'm like, man, you're out of falling over. They're in frame. Like, I, you know, it's hours of, it's a uh, hours and hours of practice. Hours and hours of practice. But I don't even feel bad for De La Hoya. You stupid motherfucker. But he don't care. He should just come out with whatever the fuck he likes. Like, that's what he likes. He likes to dress up like chicks. He likes to do like weird bondage y shit. He likes things in his, I don't know, he likes, he likes things and weird, he likes weird things. And look at those fishnet photos now. And I, I know, right? He's like wow. boxing and fishnets. Hey, it's. it's he was so- way ahead of the curve. He, he <laughs> beat Frank Ocean to that, to the punch. Wait, like he's way ahead of Tyler, the creator. 
Like, fucking A. Just whatever, man. Don't nobody care. And he's a zillionaire anyway, so what? I wonder, like, you know, I don't think either one of us are ever going to reach this level, but the amount of fucking chicks that this dude gets... He probably just is like, all right, man, let's try some new shit. Like, pee in my eye and fucking smack me in the face with a spatula. <laughs> like, there's been times where I'm going through, a sh going through, like, just running through chicks so much that I'm like, let me try, let me butt fuck you. And I don't even like doing it. It's just something different, you know? And that's when I know I got to chill out when I start thinking of sodomy. I'm like, all right, man, chill out, dude. You don't even like sodomy. But I mean, I don't hard. dislike it, but it's not, you know. So imagine this dude. De La Hoya, any fucking chick you want. She's probably fucking super full of testosterone because he's a boxer, oversexed. Been doing this for fucking years. Now it's my, and he probably had a little kink to him anyway. Now he's over here. Kitchen utensils. I really want to know what that was all about, though. I wonder, slap chop. I wonder what the <laughs> fuck. I wonder what the fuck they were using on his ass. Yeah. Slap chop sounds painful. I who the fuck knows what his what his deal is? A wooden spoon. I'm thinking of something like long and phallicy, or maybe he's fucking a bowl. Two paper plates put together. Be a kitchen roller, something like that, Spend right? Things out. Uh, yeah, a rolling pin. Yeah, like a little rolling pin. <laughs> Ouch! I don't think we're gonna see this. I don't think this this tape is gonna see the light of day. No, these women are in big trouble. The FBI, Fuck these hoes. These rats. And they even once things were not going well, they they try to shop it around to one of these sex tape uh, guys, and he instantly realized, okay, these women set him up. We're not doing this, and he he walked away from it. Yeah. Well, he called the FBI. Yeah, and he's got nothing to lose. Like, everyone knows he already was in fucking panties. You know what I mean? So, it's not that big of a deal for him to be, for, for us just to be sitting here speculating. Like, we already knew he was into kinky shit. It'd be another thing if it was, like, some pastor that no one knew about. You know what I mean? Like, but we already knew that he was into weird shit. Akuna Matata, bro. Whatever floats your boat. Fuck them rats. Be more careful. Jeez. Uh, clearly. <laughs> I just can't imagine. Clearly, quit letting motherfuckers film you. Why you? Maybe he like. Maybe that's part of his deal, though. Maybe he likes to be filmed. Maybe that's part of the. Maybe that's part of the thrill is being filmed doing weird shit. Dangerous. I don't know. I just yo. I'd be like. I'd pull the batteries i'd make sure the battery's dead and just be like pretend like you filming me <laughs> hold up the camera <laughs> would you be embarrassed if if there was a sex tape and it came out would that would that hurt you would you be like mortified by that i'm ugly naked no. so probably dude like i look awful naked i would hate to i would hate to walk into me watching me fuck somebody like the girl i'm usually the only one there so like no one can see how I look naked like I'm on top of her you know or she's riding me so yeah I probably but like what are you gonna do you got a sex tape you got a sex tape nothing yeah. that's why I don't tape shit the only time I made a sex tape with my girl and then she was like got real paranoid about me um, showing it to people so I broke it for her this was back when VHS. It's VHS. Wow, that's a commitment. VHS tape. I, I broke it with a frying pan. I was like, fine. I'll, she was like, oh, you're going to show it. I'm like, no, I'm not. You, she was crying. Enough. I was like, I took a frying pan to that bitch and beat, beat it and broke it to death. I was like, I hope you're happy now. You just have it set up on a tripod or you have this giant camera on your, it was on your shoulder? Yeah, it was. You, we had that shit rigged like a motherfucker. <laughs> And she had a fat ass. Her ass was real fat, so my dick didn't even look that big next to it. So I didn't give a fuck. I was like, whatever. I'll break that shit. Mm. I wish I would have kept that shit, though. Now I'm thinking about it. Oh, the good old days. What else? In DC that was 20 years ago. 
Um, okay. What else? Uh, in D.C., they may allow 16-year-olds to vote in the 2020 election. There is some discussion now about lowering the voting age so that uh, 16 and 17-year-olds could could vote. They're doing everything they can, aren't they? Look at just stop. What's stop. Your, you, you you don't think it's a good idea? I think it's an awful idea. Why? Because kids are less mature than they've ever been. And I want them fucking making a decision for me. I really didn't, like, weigh in on this, but, like, when fucking teenagers were telling me about the Second Amendment, and I'm like, shut the fuck up. You're a child. You're still on your mom's fucking... You're still on your mom's goddamn insurance. You're going to tell me about how, how, how the way the world should run? You fucking moron. Shut the fuck up. I think, I think they should lower the drinking age to 18. Like, I'll get behind that. If you can go off and die in a war or be charged as an adult across the board, then you should be able to drink a beer. But letting a motherfucker, a 16 year old? Psh, yeah, right. Nah, dog. Wait till you're 18. Well, there's a 16 year old here who wants to do this. His name is Alex Shire, and he's well, saying. Fuck him. We work, we pay taxes, we care for our family members, we can drive, we do so many other things, so adding voting into that uh, isn't going to be that big of a, a deal. They can handle it. Yeah, okay, all right, Alex. Just sit down, sit, sit, on, sit on the sideline for, for, uh, for a little bit. I think, the, I think the teenage unemployment rate is pretty fucking high right now. I'm just throwing, I'm, I'm guessing. Kids work less. I, I think they've been working less than ever. They do after school shit a lot of times. I'd love to hear what the teen unemployment rate is. Hey, but that's even beside the point. Just wait. Wait till you're 18. Says the unemployment rate is 13.5%. Yeah. Like back in the fucking, back in the 30s, it was 9%. So it's up. It's up by like damn near 50%. But but now you're more ready than ever. All right, Aaron. What's the kid's name? His name is Alex Shire. Okay, Alex. Woodrow All Wilson right, High Alex. School. Okay. You, I'll, we'll let you vote for homecoming queen. How about that? And then come holler at us when you're 18. Now, but look at this. Advocates of the measure say that they have the support of 7 of 13 on the council, which is a majority. So if that's true, it could happen. That's the dumbest shit ever. I just don't like it. Oh, you must know some bright 17 years old. Uh, I know old. some fucking idiots that are 25. <laughs> you know what I mean? Like, I know old ass people that I don't want voting, but like, they have the right to fucking vote. It looks like you're some not an adult yet, dog. Like, you're just not an adult. In some areas, they have flirted with this. Back in 2013, in Maryland, in this uh, Tacoma Park place, they allowed 16- and 17-year-olds to vote in local elections. In other cities, including Berkeley, also extended voting rights downward like that. But to allow uh, them to vote in the presidential one, that would be a, a huge step. I don't think that should happen. Especially uh, for some national shit. Like, that's a, it's, the, who the fuck do they, like, what? Who do you think it would favor? Democrats or Republicans? I think it would I, strategically. I think it'll favor Democrats. Right. Young people t tend to be a, a bit more idealistic, and Democrats are a bit more idealistic. Like everybody should get everything all the time because you deserve it. Fair. Fairness of outcome. That's a bad thing. Yeah. I mean, you shouldn't be in the same place. I'll, I'll fucking out. I'll, I'll hustle you. Uh, that's clear. Like, so, yeah. No. Nah. And other people out hustle me. And they're doing better than me. And some people take more risks than I do. And they do better than me. And other people are smarter than me. And they do better than me. And I do not begrudge them that. So, no. And I do better than other people. And some people do harder jobs. Like... Some people do jobs where they might get killed, and therefore they get paid more than I do. I'm cool with that. 
The worst thing is what, what am I gonna what's gonna what's the worst thing that happen to me? I get a sore throat. Well, whatever. I just don't think sixteen year olds should be voting. Fuck them. <laughs> Especially on some national shit. Well, if this majority is real, it could happen. Uh, really? Well, that's what they're saying. That uh, on on the council, isn't that a national thing? Isn't that something that nationally we should all agree on? Since they're deciding what's going to happen nationally, I'm sure there is a reason that this is allowable by law, based on on the state. Stupid, another stupid fucking law we got. All right. I'm just saying, dog. I'm just saying, man. Want to hear about small penises? I just heard about one. This 16-year-old little fucking punk motherfucker. <laughs> Thinks he can fucking... Full of hubris. Well, we do this, this, and that. And I should vote. And I'm going to go up, back up to my mom's. I'm going to go to my room. All right, so... Um, women's Health is... I worked 20 hours at McDonald's. All right, congratulations. You should be working 20 hours at McDonald's. He probably don't even work at McDonald's. Now, I intern for my dad. <laughs> sure, he's very bright, young man. I caddy at my dad's country club. He probably don't even caddy. All right, well, tell me, tell me about it. All right, so Women's Health they put together six sex positions for when your partner has a small penis. Oh and, shit. Uh, I have forwarded you some, some oh, photos nice. you can look at. But they're saying, first and foremost, oh, by the way, the average penis size is about five to five and a half inches hey. erect. I haven't measured myself in a long time. I have no clue where I am on that scale. But Some of these, I do all these positions. Really? All right. Yeah, so I the, do all the, uh, the knees to chest. Stack them legs, boy. Last time I did that, the woman actually kind of laughed. I don't know if she didn't. She, she actually laughed. And I just it ruined the whole thing. I was like, all right, fine, Wait, fuck she that. She laughed at you. I don't, it was just, I don't know. She just she actually started laughing. And I just said, all right, fuck this. This is not going well. <laughs> I thought it was pretty hot. I did. That's why I fucking did it. I'll have to do that again one day. Hopefully she doesn't laugh. I couldn't believe it. Bro, for real? She laughed she at you? I, I, I looked down. Mid-stroke? Yeah, she, she was laughing. I remember that vividly, like it was yesterday. <laughs> Wait, where were you looking before? Like, you wasn't looking at her face when you was fucking? Like, where were you looking? Well, I mean, probably her face or her tits or something. But then suddenly I was like, oh, let's go this uh, uh, knees to chest thing. And then she just started laughing. And then it just got worse when I started identifying. And she was just, like, cracking up. And I was like, this is <laughs> terrible. This is awful. <laughs> did you did you keep going? or did? Uh, I think at some point we kind of got back into it. But at that point when she's laughing in my face. Right. I mean, she wasn't doing a cruel way. She just, who knows why she was laughing. I was not. Maybe, maybe your I, dick was tickling it. I don't know. <laughs> it was not like the, a feather. <laughs> it was not the intended outcome. I thought it was hot. I did. Even look at this photo, I think it's hot. No? Yeah, it's fucking... A lot of chicks, here's here's something for you, ladies. A lot of chicks think like the uh, like being extra flexible is good. Like sometimes you're too flexible, and it doesn't allow us. Like we we're we're cocking your, your legs up so that we can we can hit different p parts of your fucking pussy. And if like your legs just keep going back and your pussy, the angle stays the same. So like push back a little bit. It'll help. It'll help everybody in the long run. Yeah, we're, I'm really impressed you can put your fucking feet to the back of your head, but, like, that doesn't change the angle. I can't hit that G spot. Or that spot that you don't believe in. That's correct. But you do believe in laughter, so that's good. <laughs> <laughs> the mythical G spot. But then there's also doggy style, and then that's supposedly good if you have a small penis. I guess. It's good, but, like, if her ass too big yeah. and your dick's too small... That's a rap boy. That's for that's for if you got a smaller ass. And then also what they're calling face to face riding, the two of you chest to chest and crotch to crotch. That way you can rub on the clit. But isn't that is that face to? I mean, isn't that just missionary or what? What are they talking about here? I guess not. I don't know. Like I think yeah. like real close, like sandwiching, like like that maybe. 
cowgirl when the woman on top uh, when the woman's on top. This can be all of these positions are positions that just you do. I don't even understand. Like the, the, all of these positions are fucking. What position don't you do? What is this uh, seashell thing or what is this? Uh, similarly, see that's what I'm talking about—the seashell shit. Where you see how her fucking oh my god, yeah, you got to <laughs> cock them, <laughs> cock them legs back. I mean, it backfires shoulders. Shit, cock, yeah, she, but you see how the pelvis is tilted. They're saying the she the seashell works well because it allows for super close piv action, piv. Never come across that, but it's penis and vagina, and your partner can grind or move in a circular motion. Um. This is the dumbest shit I've ever seen, John. Out of out of out of eighty six, this article had I seen these positions. These positions are just all sex positions. What is the what? It's basically damn near every sex position. You know, it's riding. It's cowgirl. It's fucking stacking the legs. Well, the last one here. It's it's. They're calling upstanding citizen. Where you pick her up and fuck her. I, I couldn't do that. Could you do that? I mean, the woman would have to be tiny for me to do that. I've done it before, but I don't lift weights, so that shit ain't fun, bro. No, I'll be like, man, this is, I do it for like four strokes, and then we go down because I'm like, I'm going to die. <laughs> <laughs> There's been times where I've like, I'm I'm realistic with my shit. Like, I like a nice, a nice big curvy woman, but sometimes they're just even too big for me, like, because I'm not strong enough, like. I'm just, I'm five, you know, I'm 5'10", 170. I'll do some push-ups, but, like, there's there's been times I'm like, oh, my God, it's a big-ass woman. And not in a bad way. She's just big. So I have to, I'll eat, like, a Viagra and be like, do work. It feels like I'm working out. Throwing her ass around. So, yeah, and I could, there was no picking her ass up. I'll tell you that much. You just be like, all right, man, let's go. Because if you think about it, you ever, like, if you're working out, you, does your dick ever get hard? No. Not really. Nah, my dick's never got hard doing push-ups. I remember when I was in school climbing the uh, the rope in gym class. I think I got hard, that whole thing where you're climbing a rope and you sort of have, like, this orgasm thing. I think chicks do that a lot. Climbing a rope and you sort of have, like, this orgasm thing. I think chicks do that a lot. Like I've I've heard many stories about uh, chicks discovering their sexuality, like on the rope. People don't like to think about kids like discovering sexuality, but like when I was I was getting fucking I was wanting to fuck Princess Leia ever since I saw her like chained up next to Jabba the Hutt. Like I was like, damn, she could get it. A fucking chain on her neck, like fuck, son. Yep, many a many a person has uh got turned on by that exercise rope. I, I'm, I take it back. Yeah. What else there, Jonathan? All right, and finally, there's a study out looking at one in eight people having cocaine on their hands, even if they're drug free, which is rather surprising, but. I guess it has to do with money and just people other people out there cope. using drugs and you shake hands with them. So you've got these trace amounts. But that doesn't mean you're going to test uh, positive, positive for drug use because they can determine if it's uh, just sort of exposure versus actual drug use. So wait, one in eight people, <laughs> damn near 10% of the people. Have just traces of cocaine on their hands. All the money. From people snorting the coke or just selling it or both? Well... It's just, they're saying that there's, it's well known that it's present on, on a lot of money. There's been times when I went to pay for some shit and I have, the money's been soiled. We'll just put it that way. Yeah. Right. And I'm like, damn. And you try to like rub it on your jeans and play it off. Like, I don't know what the fuck is on here. And it keeps curling up. <laughs> It's curly and caked up. Like, here's that 20. But here's the thing. 
the reason they're looking at this is because this is a new way of testing for drugs just off of your, your fingerprints. Uh, so they'll look at uh, the traces, amounts of sweat found on the ridges of the fingerprint, and then it can quickly reveal whether you've taken coke, opiates, marijuana, other drugs. So that's, what the, that's the future. They're going to test your finger to see if you're, if you're on drugs. That's why you got to do them weird drugs that I do that motherfuckers can't. They don't have a test for yet. The research chemicals? Yeah. But back to the coke shit. Like, as I've gotten older, I'm just, I don't, I'm surprised at how fucking, like, everybody does coke. Like, just everybody. I'm just, it blows my mind. I was like, damn, dude. This shit is fucking. But the people you hang out with, I mean, they're not getting crazy with it. and No. No. It just depends. It depends. Some people get yacked out of their minds, and they're, it's really hard to talk to them. And other people, they just go, you know, they just do it to drink more. Really? Yeah. <laughs> but it blows, it blows me. You should take up Coke, John. I know, I can really go the distance. Did you drink any of the, uh, did you drink any of the gin that, that our, we, we had guests in on Friday, and they brought yeah, John our, gin? Did our, you drink any? I already knocked down one of the bottles. The tank array is gone. Tank array is gone. Toast. Under the sapphire. Yep. I'm that Bombay sapphire. It's good. Shout out to them boys. Um, yeah. All right. So there you go. So what do they do? All right. So you got coke on your fingers? Yeah. And, then, and they do drug tests? Well, again, they're looking at this because uh, everyone's very excited about this new drug test. And then they said, well, wait a minute. A lot of people have uh, Coke on their hands. But again, they, they can figure out, okay, this person's a user. This person just sort of touched a, a tainted fiber or something. Doesn't it kind of like fucking, like, I was listening to this dude talk. You know planes go about the same speed that they've been going since the 70s? Okay. Like, why don't they work on technology that way? Why don't they get technology? Why, can't I, how come I can't fly across country in fucking two hours instead of five you guys over here finding a new way to test for drugs. I don't give a fuck about that, man. Like, help out the whole world. What the fuck good is a drug? Like, yo, they already, they, you already take blood. Like, f- use your technology to help people. Well, of course, law enforcement. Agriculture or some shit like that. P- put it towards, fuck all, yeah. Ag- war on drugs. It does kind of suck, though, just to think how easily they could pick up, hey, John's using some pot. Just off my finger. That's some ho-ass shit, man. Yeah. Just a new, a new way to control you instead of, instead of freeing us up. I could see them tackling that once they had a fucking, we had a goddamn super plane that flew me all around this bitch mad fast in a time machine or some shit. They, they want to do this this bullshit. Or they still don't got a cure for herpes. Not yet. But we can we can rub your finger on some shit and see if you did drugs or not. <laughs> Man, Jesus Christ, dude. Don't you got enough motherfuckers in prison? Can I, am I doing my job properly? Good. All right, then I guess I don't need a fucking drug test. Suck my dick. Fuck off. Mm. And if I'm not, fire me. Fuck it. You can see I'm anti-drug test. That is clear. I am. I'm anti-drug test. This, oh, yo, and remember we was talking about that, um... What was it? What, it, was, it was that piss... It was the beating the piss test. It was like froggy piss or some shit. Oh, right. Yeah, that, that fake urine. Yeah. There was a couple people hit me up and said that they, that they used it. And it worked. I just... I'm stunned by that. I know, dog. A couple people... A couple of our listeners. I'd be so freaked out to go in for a test and then take out a tube like that. I don't know. I'm the people's champ, bro. I'm anti-drug test. Because <laughs> a lot of our listeners are getting drug tested. I got your back, y'all. If I could vote on it, I would. No drug test. <laughs> All right, that's, that's the news. You are checking out the All Out Show with Rude Jude on demand. All right, man, that was it. That was the show. Look at that. From my mom's couch in Royal Oak, Michigan. 
Show is over. Shout out to Chris on the boards. John is a producer. Alex is the producer. Kenan's on the phone and co-producer. Justin Hunt, the company man on everything. And Jordan uh, filmed. Justin, you can look, you can, uh, you can, you can listen to watch our discussions on YouTube. They're fucking stellar. Uh, that is, uh, just look for the company, man. That is on everything. Y'all have a good rest of your day and I'll fucking talk to you tomorrow.